Hi friends! I brought The Sneetches and Other Stories by Dr. Seuss. Today, my baby, who's 17, um, she had this story stuck in her head. And so we had to look it up and it was in this book. And so I want to read that one to you today. And it, are you ready for this? is called, What Was I Scared Of? Well, I was walking in the night and I saw nothing scary, for I have never been afraid of anything. Not very. Then I was deep within the woods when suddenly I spied them. I saw a pair of pale green pants with Nobody inside them. I wasn't scared, but yet I stopped. What could those pants be there for? What could a pair of pants at night be standing in the air for? And then they moved those empty pants. They kind of started jumping. And in my heart, I must admit, it kind of started thumping. So I got out. I got out fast, as fast as I could go, sir. I wasn't scared, but pants like that, I did not care for. No, sir. After that, a week went by, and then one dark night in Grinch Itch, I had to do an errand there and fetch some Grin Itch spinach. Well, I had fetched the spinach. I was starting back through the town when those pants raced round a corner and they almost knocked me down. I lost my Greenwich spinach, but I didn't even care. I ran for home. Believe me, I had really had a scare. Now, bicycles were never made for pale green pants to ride them, especially spooky pale green pants with nobody inside them. And the next night, I was fishing for doubt trout on River River when those pants came rowing towards me while I started in to shiver. And by now, I was so frightened that I'll tell you, but I hate to. I screamed and rowed away and lost my hook and line and bait, too. I ran and found a brickle bush. I hid myself away. I got brickles in my britches, but I stayed there anyway. I stayed there all night. The next night, too. I'd be there still, no doubt, but I had to do an errand, so the next night I went out. I had to do an errand had to pick a peck of sneed in a dark and gloomy sneed field that was almost nine miles wide. I said, I do not fear those pants with nobody inside them. I said and said and said those words. I said them, but I lied them. Then I reached inside a snide bush, and the next thing that I knew, I felt my hand touch someone, and I'll bet that you know who. <gasps> and there I was, caught in the snide and in the dreadful place, those spooky empty pants and I were standing face to face. I yelled for help, I screamed, I shrieked, I howled, I yelled, I cried. Oh, save me from these pale green pants with nobody inside. But then a strange thing happened. Why, those pants began to cry. Those pants began to tremble. They were just as scared as I. I never heard such whimpering, and I began to see that I was just as strange to them as they were strange to me. I put my arm around their waist and sat right down beside them. 
I, I calm them down, poor empty pants with nobody inside them. And now we meet quite often, those empty pants and I, and we never shake or tremble. We both smile and we say, hi. That's the end. There's no need to be afraid of something that's just different from us, right? They might be as scared as we are of them. Hmm, maybe next time we'll just smile and say, hi. Did you like that silly book? Okay, friends, I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.